An unexpected moment during Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh's recent visit to Malta has gone viral, sparking debate across social media platforms. Sophie and her husband, Prince Edward, were on an official visit to the Mediterranean island this week when an apparent slip-up occurred during their interaction with Malta's Prime Minister, Robert Abella, and his wife, Lydia Abella. What was supposed to be a diplomatic gesture of goodwill turned into an awkward viral moment when Sophie seemed to unintentionally snub the Maltese leader. While posing for a photo, the Prime Minister extended his hand to greet her, but the Duchess appeared not to notice, resulting in a brief but uncomfortable few seconds. A clip of the interaction quickly spread across social media, gaining attention on X, formerly known as Twitter. The video, which was viewed nearly 110,000 times and liked over 1,000 times, shows Prime Minister Robert Abella offering his hand to Sophie, who appears distracted and unaware of the gesture. Social media users didn't hesitate to weigh in on the situation, with some humorously pointing out the awkwardness, while others were more critical of Sophie's apparent lapse in attention. One user's caption read, Must watch, Sophie completely snubbing the Prime Minister of Malta. If this is the best diplomat the UK has to offer, they're in serious trouble. Not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer, is she? The video, slowed down for emphasis, shows Abella extending his hand across Prince Edward towards Sophie. The Duchess, who appears to be looking into the distance, doesn't notice the outstretched hand immediately. After a few uncomfortable seconds, Abella steps slightly closer in an attempt to get her attention. It's clear from the footage that there was no intentional snub, as Sophie did eventually shake his hand once she realized the situation. The incident was a brief, somewhat embarrassing hiccup in what was otherwise a successful trip to Malta for the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. The royal couple was in the country to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Malta's independence from British rule, a significant milestone for the island nation. Malta, located between Italy and North Africa, holds special significance for the British royal family. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip lived there between 1949 and 1951, during the time when Philip served as a Royal Navy officer. Villa Gardamangia, their former residence in Malta, was one of the key stops on Sophie and Edward's visit. The Duke and Duchess also paid tribute to the bravery of the Maltese people during World War II. The island endured relentless aerial bombardments from the Luftwaffe and the Italian Air Force. In recognition of their courage and resilience, King George VI awarded the George Cross to the people of Malta in 1942. The royal couple commemorated this legacy by casting a wreath into Valletta Harbor, a poignant reminder of Malta's wartime sacrifices. The viral clip sparked considerable conversation on social media, with opinions ranging from sympathy for Sophie to criticisms of her diplomatic skills. Many viewers speculated that Sophie was simply distracted and did not intentionally ignore Prime Minister Abella. Some pointed out that diplomatic events can be overwhelming and such misunderstandings can happen, especially with the pressures of formal engagements and media attention. Supporters of the Duchess were quick to defend her, with some noting the royal couple's long-standing commitment to diplomatic relations and charity work. One user wrote, People need to give Sophie a break. She clearly didn't mean to ignore the PM. It's easy to get distracted during these events. Let's focus on the good work she and Edward are doing in Malta. On the other hand, critics used the moment to question the effectiveness of the British monarchy in modern diplomacy. While the snub was accidental, some felt that it was a reminder of the occasional disconnect between the royal family and the rest of the world, particularly in high-stakes public appearances. Despite the viral attention surrounding the moment, many were also quick to move on, recognizing the visit's broader significance. The clip, while amusing to some, didn't overshadow the purpose of the visit, which was to celebrate and strengthen the bond between the United Kingdom and Malta. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, has long been regarded as one of the more understated members of the royal family. Since marrying Prince Edward in 1999, she has taken on numerous roles in charity and diplomacy, quietly working behind the scenes. She's earned praise for her dedication to various causes, particularly in the fields of education, mental health, and women's rights. 
While this viral moment may have sparked some unflattering commentary, it's unlikely to significantly impact Sophie's standing within the royal family or her role in British diplomacy. Known for her poise and grace, the Duchess is likely to continue representing the monarchy in a respectful and meaningful way. Moreover, as the monarchy evolves under King Charles III, Sophie's position as a senior royal is likely to become even more important. As the Duchess and Prince Edward continue to support the King's initiatives and represent the crown abroad, they will play a crucial role in maintaining diplomatic relations, even in moments of light-hearted embarrassment. Beyond the viral moment, Sophie and Edward's visit to Malta was a significant reminder of the deep ties between the two nations. Malta gained independence from the United Kingdom in 1964, but the historic and cultural connections between the two countries remain strong. The royal family's visits to the island symbolize the ongoing friendship and respect that continue to characterize this relationship. During their trip, the Duke and Duchess also highlighted the bravery of the Maltese people during World War II. The Luftwaffe and the Italian Air Force heavily bombarded Malta due to its strategic location in the Mediterranean. The island played a crucial role in the Allies' fight against Axis forces, withstanding numerous attacks despite its small size and limited resources. The bravery and resilience of the Maltese people during this period earned them the George Cross, awarded by King George VI in 1942. This honor remains a powerful symbol of Malta's fortitude and its special relationship with the British crown. For the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, this visit was an opportunity to honor that legacy while also celebrating Malta's post-independence achievements. As they visited key historical sites and met with Maltese leaders, they reinforced the importance of maintaining the strong ties between the United Kingdom and Malta. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh's visit is part of a long tradition of royal visits to Malta. Queen Elizabeth II herself holds fond memories of the island, having lived there as a young princess. From 1949 to 1951, Princess Elizabeth and Prince Philip resided in Malta while Philip served as a Royal Navy officer. Their time on the island was one of the few periods during Elizabeth's life where she could live relatively privately, away from the public eye. This connection to Malta has made the island a place of personal significance for the royal family. Prince Edward and Sophie's visit continues this tradition, further strengthening the bond between the two countries. By commemorating Malta's independence and honoring the courage of its people, the Duke and Duchess reaffirmed the importance of the UK's relationship with Malta, even in the modern era. In the grand scheme of things, Sophie's brief faux pas with Malta's Prime Minister is a small moment in what was an otherwise positive and successful visit. The Duchess has proven herself to be a capable and committed member of the royal family, and her work in Malta is a testament to her dedication to supporting the monarchy's diplomatic efforts. While the viral clip may have provided a moment of amusement for social media users, it is unlikely to tarnish Sophie's reputation. Instead, the focus should remain on the importance of the royal visit to Malta, the significance of the country's 60 years of independence, and the deep historical ties between Malta and the United Kingdom. As the royal family continues to engage with the world, moments like these serve as a reminder that even the most seasoned diplomats can have an off moment. But in the end, it's the larger picture, the strengthening of international relationships, the honoring of history, and the commitment to service that truly matters.